Bill Goldstein, Principal of Bulldog Investors, nice to see you at the Deal Economy event. Nice to see you. Well, activism is kind of the thing these days, and let's start with a philosophical question first. Where do you come out on the long-term, short-term debate? Is activism about a quick kill, or is it about the long run? <laughs> That's a great question, because I've always wondered what, you know, you hear people saying that uh, uh, activists are short-term investors, as if like that's some sort of like a moral failing. But let me ask you, there's no, there's nothing wrong with being, I don't define it that way. I mean, whatever makes me the best return over a reasonable period of time, I'm for. But if somebody, um, if I owe you $10,000, when would you rather I pay you back? Tomorrow or in five years? So if you say tomorrow, does that mean you're a short-term investor? I mean, I only wish that I could get returns in a shorter period of time as possible, as, as short a period as possible, but, but realistically, it just doesn't happen. So I don't think that an activist or any, most investors, even if they say they're long-term, uh, they're always looking at alternative opportunities. What can I do with the money? So. It's kind of like a false debate. It's just, well, what's the best use of the money? There's no, it's not like you're a morally better person if you say, well, I invest for the long term. And you can invest for the long term and see your company wind up in bankruptcy. Then all of a sudden it's not so great to be a long term. So it really is, is, is a, you know, a false uh, a premise even. I think for a few years we've heard this phrase, it's the year of the activist investor. Well, we've seen that year after year. What's going to be different about 2016, do you think, in the activist space? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, one thing that I think we touched on on the panel was, uh, and I don't say it's like, it it's doesn't necessarily change from year to year, it's more of an evolution. I think you're seeing, and it's pretty obvious what you're seeing, you're seeing more professionalism from activism less um, acrimony, uh, you're seeing more negotiations and settlements. And I think that trend will continue. So it's not, it's not like at the end, at December 31st, something's going to change. Um, but I think that those trends are a result of activists being relatively successful and both sides realizing that they have more to gain by coming to a satisfactory resolution that will ultimately benefit stockholders. Well, if there has been such success, why have we seen so little activism by mutual funds? Well, mutual funds, yeah, you know, there's, 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 as far as I know, there's not one mutual fund that uses activism as a primary investment tool. Once in a while, you will see a mutual fund take on an activist, but well, it's so rare. I think the reason is is that they, for the most part, they're just asset gatherers and they're looking to uh, generate fees for themselves and they're not really focused on generating alpha. I think the reason you see it more in private funds, uh, hedge funds specifically, is that their interest of the managers are much more closely aligned with shareholders and that in order to really make money, you have to generate returns and activism works. It does work in that it generates um, alpha over time, but I think that mutual funds will get a bigger bang for the buck by spending money on marketing and, and getting more assets under management, then it's just... Also, they have a problem, There's an, there are other structural problems, which is, especially open-end funds, um, have to meet redemptions. And it's very hard to run an activist campaign if you don't have um, permanent or relatively permanent capital. So you, you wouldn't want to go in and be running a proxy fight and then get hit with redemptions and have to sell your stake in the target that would make you look very weak and so you really can't uh, be as effective as a hedge fund which might have less liquidity. Well, why do so many contests settle before votes at annual meetings? It's because activists have already shown that they can, they can if pushed, they can succeed so management I think has 
gone more toward settling it. I think that you know they realize that the writing's on the wall, and it's better to settle it than to be ousted, like like we saw in Darden, where an entire board was ousted of a. Uh, I'm told the first time a Fortune 500 company, the entire board was replaced. That it's not a very um, attractive prospect. So I, I think the success of activism has led to more settlements. Phil Goldstein of Bulldog Investors, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thank you very much.